To get to know a woman, a man should show interest and make an effort. That's all right. However, pursuing a woman who deliberately ignores you, does not respond to your messages, and acts as if you are inferior is unhealthy. Man should, indeed, show desire. But it's not a good place to be when desire turns to desperation. The thing most men don't realize about chasing women is that even if you finally get a woman after a long and exhausting chase, you end up creating the wrong relationship dynamic for yourself. In other words, you'll most likely always be the lesser one in the relationship, always begging for attention and picking up the crumbs of love that your partner leaves once in a while. That said, here are four hard truths about chasing women that most men don't realize. Number 1. You suffer from onneitis. You have onneitis if you are constantly pursuing a girl who clearly isn't interested in you. That is, you are so obsessed with one girl that no other girl in the world matters to you. You waste your time and miss out on a slew of other chances to have a great relationship with another girl. When you become obsessed with one girl, you lose sight of the fact that she might not be interested in you. Sometimes movies and TV shows romanticize the idea of a special girl destined for you. We can become obsessed with a girl online even if we've never met her in person. But, as important as loyalty and commitment are, if you put only one egg in your basket, thinking you have to get that particular girl, you'll become very needy and obsessive. And this can have a negative impact on your self-esteem and even your mental health. Number 2. You will finish the same way you began. Perhaps you've seen rare cases where a guy pursued a woman for a long time and eventually got her. But, in most cases, the hard truth is that she probably didn't fall for the man because the long chase sold her so much. Rather, she may have succumbed because she realized she no longer had a better option. And this almost never results in a fulfilling or balanced relationship for the man. You end up being the one who always manages to make things work. You deserve to be with someone who is also interested in you. And you must be able to walk away if they do not. This is the distinction between a jerk and a genuine good guy. Simps lack self-esteem and personal boundaries. They let girls walk all over them and get away with whatever they wanted. A genuine good guy, on the other hand, knows exactly what he wants and how he should be treated. And when he realizes things aren't going well, he's sensitive and secure enough to let go. You have no self-respect if you are unable to walk away from someone who is not benefiting you or reciprocating your time, effort, and energy. Number 3. You're not seeing the reality of things. It's common for girls to play hard to get, which can be aggravating. However, when a girl says she doesn't like you or doesn't show you any signs that she does, it's most likely because she doesn't. If you've expressed your feelings to a girl, the ball is now in her court, and she must decide what she wants to do. You've stated your position unequivocally. And if she says or implies that she doesn't like you, you must be able to let go. Most guys become quickly obsessed with a girl even before they know her because they have already projected many things onto her. They've seen her beauty, so they assume she's also intelligent, funny, and enjoyable to be around. The truth is that if you truly learn to see people for who they are, you will not become addicted as quickly. You'll realize that no one is perfect. And that, sooner or later, you'll have to accept her flaws as you would any other human you've ever met. This mindset will give you a sense of detachment and a better sense of reality. Number 4. You're not exploring what's necessary. Consider how much time you're putting into a girl who isn't giving you anything in return. Consider refocusing that time and effort on things that will benefit you. True, some girls enjoy being pursued. However, these girls are typically insecure. They enjoy the impression that you are desperate to have them. And these are not the type of girls you want to be in a relationship with. They purposefully make you chase after them because it makes them happy. Consider the possibilities and opportunities you'd create for yourself if you use that time to focus on growing, achieving your goals, and evolving into a better version of yourself. You don't impress a girl by doing too much. Doing more does not magically transform her dislike into love. 
that is reserved for romantic films. In reality, doing too much distances you from her. There are some women who will make you chase them because they have built up their walls as a result of past emotional trauma. But a woman like this will almost certainly be her on guard at all times. That is, if you do anything that reminds her of her previous experience, you will be back at square one. I hope you like this video and make sure that you subscribe to this channel and turn on notifications so you never miss out on more amazing psychological videos and much more. Alright, have a great rest of your day and I'll see you in the next video.